This was Paul Canton's third attempt at obtaining citizenship. After about an hour and a half long interview, he and his attorney walked out of these doors at the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration offices, disappointed but hopeful. It'd be nice to kind of put this behind me and move on with my life. Paul Canton was first told he wasn't a U.S. citizen when he tried to renew his license about two years ago. He thought he was a citizen because a recruiter told him he would be after serving. He's lived in the States for decades, paid taxes, and even voted, but he didn't have the documents needed to get a new ID. He was told to file for citizenship, so he did, but was denied after a determination was made that he was of poor moral character for claiming to be a citizen when he wasn't. Canton's attorney then filed again. This time, immigration officials say they need to figure out his reserve status before making a decision. They can see that he does have good moral character and that the voting history is a non-issue. But now the question is whether he were selective or not for the end of March and beginning of April of 1991, which is when the Persian Gulf conflict ended by executive order. A spokesperson with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services sent us a statement saying they won't comment on the case, but they handle each application on a case-by-case -case basis to determine if it meets all standards required under the law. Canton's attorney says she'll be doing her own research. How many people have served in the military stateless and undocumented and now 30 years later uh, are splitting hairs over the word selective. If he's denied again, she says Canton is a victim of fraud by the recruiter, so they could file as a victim of crime, but doing that could lead to another decade of waiting for a naturalization. Fingers crossed moving forward that we get the result I feel we deserve. In Orange County, Megan Mulatto, West 2 News.